Hi right, guys, this is DL Woods with the Winter Circle, AKA Money Man inside of the Winter Circle. We wanna go ahead and talk about the harmonic scanner from iMarkets Live with our strategy that we utilize inside the Winter Circle, right? Um, let's break down what the harmonic scanner is, how to access it, and how you can go ahead and get those perfect entries, okay? So the harmonic scanner is a software created by um, the iMarkets Live uh, company, and with this software, what it does is it looks at the market and it identifies certain patterns. When those certain patterns have been identified, right, we know what the next move is going to be. It gives us the take profit one, take profit two, take profit three, the stop loss, as well as the entry point. Well, currently, guys, if you go to imlharmonicscanner.com, this works on the phone as well as uh, on a desktop or, or any tablet. You can just go ahead and click on any broker, right, they're going to use their broker's pricing, all right, and that different brokers actually identify different uh, harmonic patterns, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to H1. I like those. H1, and I'm going to go to Odd NZD. Odd NZD, right, it's the one that was at the top. And so the H1, and what I'm going to do, and uh, Push 1000 is actually sending out some stuff as well. We hit take profit on another trade that we have. So we're a company within a company. Uh, we have multiple levels of support, multiple levels of signals. That signal that just came out from uh, being a part of our group hit 40 pips. So check this out. Now, what we do is we look at the harmonic scanner and I'm gonna be utilizing the, uh, I'm gonna be utilizing TradingView, tradingview.com, all right? so. What you do is you have to be a platinum member with our company, iMarkets Live, in order for you to have access to this software. Be a platinum member, of course, is 217 uh, one time, and then if you wanna continue with the service, is 161 a month. But let me share with you how that is insignificant when, when you can actually make the cost of getting started, as well as the cost of maintaining the membership with one to two trades, all right? So let's talk about it. Here we have it's we have the pattern being drawn out right, and we have the uh, the entry point. Now I'm gonna go over here to odd NZD. I've already gotten this marked up because I actually took this trade. Uh, we go to odd NZD, and what I utilize is a different candlestick. These are the traditional Japanese candlesticks, right? All right, so. This is the base of the, um, this is when, when um, the harmonic scanner actually called it out, right? The, uh, and that's at 1.1, 1. 1. well, 10, 131, right? 10, 131, if y'all can see it right here, this is 10, 131, the neckline or the base of the harmonic scanner, which is also the entry point. So 10, 131, and what I did is I utilized, see right here, it didn't really hit it. So if you were just looking for like a sell, a, a sell limit or something like that, if it wasn't market execution, you didn't get in based off of your broker's pricing. It didn't wick you in, right? So let's just say it, it didn't wick you in and you're looking for an entry point. What I'm going to do is I am going to go from traditional candlesticks because you see it, it wicked you in, you got in and all of a sudden, you know, it started doing this whole thing. It started playing this little tug of war. Okay, buyer seller, buyer seller, bullish candle, bearish candle, bullish candle, bearish candle. And then all of a sudden it goes on this run, right? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to identify when this run is about to happen. So you can have little to no drawdown. All right, little to no drawdown. This is how you do it. It's called Hakanashi, right? Hakanashi candles, what they do is they focus on literally having momentum, all right? The majority, it goes through a different equation than the Japanese candlesticks. Japanese candlesticks, it's all price action. The lowest point is the wick, the highest point is the wick, and then the open of the candle is the, is the and the close of the candle is the body. Well, this goes through a totally different equation, which basically talks about, it always opens up in the middle of the, of the previous candle, and it goes towards if, if the sellers were dominating or if the, uh, the buyers were dominating, right? And which one is actually in high momentum? You see, if it's a candle like this, it's an indecisive candle. It was 50-50, right? But if you start seeing a flat, it means that the, the sellers are dominating. You see this right here? The sellers are still dominating, but it, it isn't as strong. 
This is more so 60-40, right? You see those flats? That means that they're really dominating it. They're really dominating, right? And then when you start seeing the wicks come up, that means that momentum is actually running out. Momentum is running out to the point to where you now have a doji haikanashi candle. And then you have the introduction of the buyers are starting to win. But then you have this flat. This flat is what's going to save you guys a lot of money. It's going to make you guys a lot of money, all right? You're not going to be, be blowing your accounts out, right, once you see these Hakanashi candlesticks. You see these Hakanashi candlesticks going in your favor, that's when we're going to, there's no wick at the bottom, it closes out, that's where we're going to enter the market, all right? And we're going to ride this baby up all the way up to take profit three. Currently, I've been in this trade already, so we're up currently 25 pips, 25 pips that were already up and we had, um, we had almost no drawdown, all right? I think it was maybe uh, two pips, two pips of drawdown and we're, we're back in profit, um, multiple pips. So let's talk about it, right? You're going to get in on a flat, a flat candle, right? I mean, a flat Hakanashi candle, which is right here, we see that's where the flat is, right there. Let's get out of here. Boom. That's where the flat is on this candlestick where I have my green line, my vertical line. And from there, we ride it up. Uh, the Hakanashi, I mean the harmonic scanner, it gives us our take profit one. It gives us our take profit one, which is 1.1025. So we've already smashed through that. And so you could do one of two things now. When you're in the trade, right? This now this is managing your trade, right? The third part of your uh, third part of the the three things that you need to do. You need to look at the trend. You need to do your entry point. You need to manage your trade. Um, you can go from your stop loss, which was um, the stop loss here, said that it was going to be at one point one zero zero seven seven. What I want to do is I want to secure, I want to secure some profits, right? Because I don't want to be in, the, I, don't, I don't know about you guys, but I do not like losing money. So what I want to do is I want to take my stop loss from being in the negative to being a stop profit being in the positive, right? So we can go up here. So once it breaks, our take profits act as support and resistance, okay? So... Once it approaches it, as you guys see, is momentum, 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 momentum. Once we start to approach it, it loses momentum, okay? So because we're coming up against the resistance point. Now, once it breaks through this, this ceiling, the ceiling now becomes the floor, and it straight up does the exact same thing as regular candlesticks, but we're talking Hakanashi with momentum, right? What I want to do is I want to actually have our – take profit when my stop loss become a stop profit move my stop into profit and that's how we do that okay so that way we say least worst case scenario I'm already in profit I'm not gonna lose any money okay and we're gonna continue to ride this out you do not close a, a, a trade out that's in profit because of emotion. How is it that we do all of this technical analysis, all of this data, and we get out, you know, when we start, when we first see blue? That's not the case anymore. I want to expedite you guys' learning curve and increase you guys' profits. So far, you can actually make some money and, 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 and make big money fast, okay? So we're gonna, um, I wanna go back to here, um, candlesticks, right? And I just want to show you guys where we entered the market based off of Hakanashi and how many pips we're currently up. We go up where price is currently. Boom. Our highest point that we got. Nine pips. Highest point was nine pips from entry, zero entry. What does nine pips mean, all right? Nine pips could either mean 
if you was to do when you're when you're doing your lot sizes 0 0.01 is where you want to start at um it doesn't even matter if you have a thousand dollars in your account i want you guys to get good at and getting comfortable with trading before you increase your lot size all right so 0 0.01 what does that mean that will equal 90 cent all right 90 cent now if you go 0 0.10 that will equal nine dollars now if you have a standard increase in lot size and i don't recommend you guys do standards unless you have a thousand dollars in your account or more that will be ninety dollars for this move that we've experienced over the last hold on excuse me 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 55 minutes, right? We made $90. So $90 an hour kind of, <laughs> right? Um, so, and then of course, when you get to the point to where you have 10,000 in your account, you can do uh, 10 standards, which would have been 900 bucks. Now, I don't want you guys to, to, to do this right here. I don't want you guys jumping the gun on when it is that you actually increase your lot sizes, all right? Here, you have anything under 100 bucks, you're right here at 0 .01, 0 .01, all right? When you are over, I'll say over 200, 300 bucks, you start doing 0.1. And 1 1.0, you start doing at $1,000 minimum. Okay, so guys, understand that if you put $100 in your bank account, you're not, I repeat, you're not going to wait for an hour and see your account grow from $100 to $100.90 or from $1,000 to $1,090. That's not going to happen. All right, so just manage your um, risk, which is your lot sizes. And do not, I repeat, do not attempt to win the lottery on your first, second, third, fourth, fifth trade. Slowly progress. And what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself being consistent. I'd rather you be consistent with trading versus I, I won, I got some money, I won some money, and then I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. You know, so let's stay, um, utilize this service, utilize this strategy so that you can actually stay in the profit and you can keep your money because the market, if you over trade, the market will take it from you. People have the misconception of what the market is. Market is a bully that can fight really good. Every now and then you can get a lick in, but if you continue to tussle with it, it will win, all right? So with that being said, guys, I definitely wanna say I'll see you guys at the top because the bottom is too crowded, but we'll never look down on anybody unless we're willing to help them up. My name is D.L. Woods. And this is the winner circle, Hi Kanashi with the harmonic scanner. Y'all take care, take action, take charge.